there's a cool little feature in there you might not have known of, and it's an easy way to record a voiceover straight into Final Cut Pro. I've used this a lot. And the other day I said something wrong in a video, and so I just used this feature to quickly correct my mistake. So let's hop on Final Cut Pro. I'm going to show you how easy it is to record your voiceover. Okay, so we're in Final Cut Pro now, and I just have some random clips. This is actually from a uh, mission trip I went on to Ecuador. So what you want to do to access the microphone, you want to come up to Window. This will be at the very top, and you go all the way down to Record VoiceOver. Now there is a shortcut there, but I usually just do this, and then you'll see this window pop up. Now you have some options, and right here, you can see as I'm talking, la, 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 la. So this is kicking right here, as I call it. So therefore, I know it's getting my mic. I usually leave the input gain as high as it will go. But if you have different mics, you can adjust it here. You want to make sure the mic you're using, like I'm technically I'm using my Rode Pod mic, but it's going through the Elgato Wave XLR. So that's why it's showing up. But if you don't see your audio here, check your input right there. I click that off monitor. I have that turned off countdown to record. I like that because I want to have that three, two, one, and you'll see that. And so all I do is this. And here's an example of us recording audio right into Final Cut Pro. These were some beautiful people in the village we went to. These were some of the kids at one of the orphanages. These are some more of the beautiful kids there. And this is exactly how you can record voiceover in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to stop it. And if you notice this right there, so let me close this and I'm going to play this. And here's an example of us. Actually, let me let me turn it up just a little. I'm going to really bump it up here. And here's an example of us recording audio right into Final Cut Pro. These were some beautiful people in the village we went to. Now, let me show you a little bonus tip you can do here. So what you can do is you go up here to the audio uh, icon right here. This is in your inspector. Turn on voice isolation. And you'll, you should hear a little bit of difference. So let me play it with it. And here's an example of us recording audio right into Final Cut It's a little Cut cleaner. Pro. So this is what I do even if I'm in my studio. And then I usually bump, turn loudness on. And I usually keep the loudness around 30. But yeah. let me go back and play it with it and without it. So without it. And here's an example of us recording audio right into Off. Final Cut Pro. These were some beautiful people. And that just gives it a little bit more Oomph there. So a couple little bonus tips For after you've heard this voice over so there. Time. And here's the cool thing. You can slide it around. You can chop it up. So if I wanted to like cut that out right there, I could do that. And I could do this here and I could trim this. So you've got a lot of options here with the voiceover. And you can just record a straight voiceover track. So let me show you that. If I'm going to start right here. So basically wherever you have the playhead, this is the playhead. This is where it will start recording. So if I go back up to window, and go to record voice it'll start right there and I'm gonna hit record and it'll count me down so here's an example of recording a voiceover if you just wanted to do just a voiceover and you don't have your video yet picked out this would be easy to do turn it off there it is I can actually drag it up to the timeline it's gonna be let me close this it's gonna be low so here's an example of recording. So I can raise the audio up a little. Usually I don't do anything until I do these. Let me zero that out. Then I'm going to turn voice isolation on. I'm going to bump the loudness to about 30 and then we'll see. So here's an example of recording a voiceover. And then you may want to bring it up just a little. Let's say we bring it up to that example of recording a voiceover. If you just wanted to do just a voiceover and you don't have your video yet picked out, this would be easy to do. That's why I love Final Cut Pro. There's so many cool things you can do with it. Check out some of the videos on the screen now to even see more you can do with Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.